Family planning is key to improving the lives of girls and women. By investing in family planning, we are enabling a woman to decide freely and for themselves whether, when, and how many children they want to have. It increases income, improves maternal health, and the health of all her children. Having children only when ready enables a woman to better take care of herself and her entire family. Hi everyone, my name is Kosas. I'm from Uganda, a country of northern hills in the heart of Africa. Hi, I'm Tani Ortega. I'm 25 years old and I'm from El Salvador. Mi nombre es Celeste Velázquez. Tengo 19 años y soy de Guatemala. Hello everyone. My name is Anita Ophon from Poma. My name is Maria Bonita. Solomon Fatinato. My name is Hani. So this statue is a student with the dreams. Malawi Youth Project. Tanda Lizzy. Zabdugado Mariama. Mercy from Albania. Mam Kuchemaka. Salim Trace Vera Wose. Greetings. My name is Alwase Ingrid. Nema Charles and Chacho. Good health and well being. Advocating for adolescents and youth friendly services. My name is Anina Bina David. My name is Esther Nantambi. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Khudidi Kamara. As a young ambassador from Nagaland, I want to be given a chance to tell the stories of my land, my people, our struggles, our realities and our hopes. Hi, my name is Sudhi Dogra and I'm from India. My exposure to the world family planning started when I was 16. At 16, I got the opportunity to work on MDG 5, which is improving maternal health. From that point when I was 16, throughout my student journey, I've had the chance to understand that the term family planning, maternal health, women's health, adolescent health, sexual and reproductive health all largely depend upon where women belong to, which social strata, which caste status and which different socio-economic categories they occupy. Achieving demographic dividend is basically decreasing the fertility rates through family planning and decreasing the number of dependents age groups and then increasing the work group age. My dream is to see a generation of empowered young Africans, especially women, with adequate access to reproductive health and complete autonomy over our bodies, contributing our skills, our perspective and our energy to developing our continent. More than ever, we need to examine and quantify the impact of policies like the Global Gag Rule, not only on organizations providing family planning services, but on the girls and young women who depend on them. We need to make it exceptionally clear through our research, our data, and our stories, the far-reaching and positive impact that this investment in family planning can have on people's lives. Familiar Kanë mundësi që të ushkjen mirë, të vënë në shkollë, të edukohen, të arsimohen, të kulturohen. Young people in Albania have limited access to family planning due to economic, cultural and educational factors. This prevents them from exercising their rights to family planning. However, YPR Albania has been working closely with young people from different backgrounds and different areas to promote benefits of family planning. The return on investments in family planning will provide a lifetime of gains in so many aspects for a rapidly developing country like Nigeria. This includes reduction in maternal mortality, reduction in complications of teenage and unwanted pregnancies, and well demographic dividends of decent jobs and productive lives of young people achieving their full potential. Empowerment is what I work for every day. But for me, it's not anymore a word, it's just a mean for improved life conditions of girls. Because every time I raise my voice to talk about empowerment, I have many reasons translated in little faces I speak for, and I'm completely sure that investing in them is investing for a lifetime of return. Let's
Martin Obel, a 22-year-old from Watacho Village, Migori County in Kenya. I decided to educate young girls like me since because I gave birth when I was still in high school and I faced so many challenges and that's why I decided to advise my fellow young girls like me not to pass through the same challenge that I faced when I gave birth while still in school. I'm proud of this mentorship because I've changed the life of so many girls and they are able to live a brighter future.